we are here at Nordic Music Celebration with the Moldovan legends right here. We got Sunstroke Project, we got Lydia. How does it feel to be back here in Norway? Oh, for us, we are so excited to this performance because uh, Norwegia is in a very special place for us. Uh, start our uh, career ago today. Earlier, when we in Bosnia, first uh, time on Eurovision, and uh, we feel in some uh, cool words, everything emotion. And I know it's uh, really exactly uh, from 2010 now, he speak a, a little bit fat in English. <laughs> <laughs> in 2010, it was just like, okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm very rich today right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not like uh, 2010. <laughs> what has Eurovision meant for all of your uh, careers? Okay, so I'll start. That's my first time in Oslo, in Norway, in general. I've been in Eurovision like many, many years ago, one time, but I'm considering maybe, maybe uh, return one day. I hope I'll win the national final first. <laughs> and uh, what was your question one more time? <laughs> what did the Eurovision mean for you in 2016? Oh, um, okay. So, yeah, for uh, uh, in Moldova in general, Eurovision is a very huge um, contest and every artist like many artists uh, wants to participate in it because um, 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 it's important for your music, for uh, sharing your, your music. Yeah, you have a big platform in Sweden in 2016 when I uh, was uh, participating. It was like a huge crowd. It was like, I don't remember uh, thousands of people in the audience and mm, and many more uh, at the television, so uh, it's a very great opportunity because Moldova is a very little small country. country. Small, yes, with, like, okay, so. But small, but <laughs> very sunny and uh, good country. <laughs> yeah, uh, with positive people and with good vibes. And we are uh, here uh, to bring you good vibes. And also, today is sunny here, and also, I don't know what is the weather in other days. But <laughs> because Sostro Project and Lydia's are in the place. We have like uh, some kind of thing that uh, every time when we come over uh, uh, others country, it's uh, other so town, uh, if there's a rainy, if, if, if Sostro Project in this town, it will be it will be sunny day, really, because Sostro Project. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. That the other day it was snowing here, so you really brought the, wow. yeah, the sun. Snowing in April itself. <laughs> so thank you very much for that. And what does it mean, like with Moldova? For a lot of people, when they think about Moldova, they think about, they don't know much about the country, but they know about the iconic performances. How does it feel for you guys to be representatives of such a beautiful country and beautiful people? You know, when we come back in our country, we feel uh, like a spaceman, you know. All people know us, all people sing our song, it's very cool. And uh, for us it's a big honor. Uh, and um, I think uh, many musicians uh, can't just dream about uh, our success. And uh, thanks God we have uh, this uh, and uh, first time in, in this uh, beautiful country, uh, our performance on Eurovision, it's, it's all cool. <laughs> yeah. What's most important that uh, for, even for a, um, all musicians that, you know, uh, when people see, listen to your music, uh, they have fun, they have uh, like, uh, they love your music and they like it. And they just feel great, you know. For a musician, is the most important thing. So for us, like for from 2010 and 2017, our song when somebody listen our song, like oh my god, hey mama, we love this song. And for us, it's the best way. And uh, you know, I must say, uh, Moldova every year, it's my opinion, uh, just brings uh, something uh, special to the <laughs> Eurovision scene, something memorable, like. Epic sax guy, like my astronaut, like many, many other things like, <laughs> that is very memorable in uh, uh, the eyes of uh, people watching. So uh, that's great and we love it. It's amazing to hear. And what did it feel in, in 2017 when you came back with uh, your comeback in Eurovision and got such an amazing result and fan backing? Moldova! How proud was that moment for you guys? 
You know, the most uh, powerful moment in this, uh, uh, when we was on stage, you know, because before this, you know, you know, okay, everybody was talking like, oh my God, the Sunshine Project come back, Epic Sax guy come back. So that's why we, we just like, oh, this will be great. But when you come on stage and the crowd was like, uh, oh, this was the best moment in our like career about the the performing the on the stage because it, it's nothing to compare with this and the one more funny thing uh, when we're uh, uh, ready to go on the stage um, uh, a call from president yeah. and uh, uh, he call uh, he uh, tell us guys you must make a miracle yeah. okay yeah we're ready <laughs> and go to stage uh, yeah that's amazing and we're so excited to have you guys here it's such an honor uh, that you've come here to norway we really really appreciate it so have a wonderful day Thanks Thank so you. much.